Hello and welcome back to the Coder's Legacy channel. In today's video, we'll explore how to create a release pipeline to deploy our React.js application to Azure DevOps. So what this means is that we're going to deploy our React.js application to a live website, to a live domain where we can access it globally. Okay, it will become a live website, not just something running locally on our computers. So this video is going to guide you on how to do that and how to set up a continuous deployment pipeline so that whenever you change your code locally and you push a commit to your GitHub, it's going to automatically redeploy the website with all those changes without you having to do anything. All right. So that's what we're going to do in today's video. So in the previous video of this series, which I highly recommend you go watch right now, if you haven't, we created this pipeline, this continuous integration pipeline where we built our um, React.js application. Basically, this involves installing all the modules. Let me show you the YAML file for this. I'll go on edit and we'll take a quick look through this again. So here we have, we're installing node. Then we do npm install on the client folder, npm install on the server folder. We then do npm run build in the client folder to build our React.js application. We then copy and publish these files as the output of this CI, of this continuous integration pipeline. And we can see the output of this over here. If you go into the recent, recent runs, click on the recent run, the most recent one, and click on this, okay? And this is the artifact, the output of this pipeline. It's a release folder which we did in the previous video. I explained all that back then. So this is the client folder, which contains the distribution folder. And this is our ready to be served uh, React JS application. And this is our server, which contains the node modules that it needs to execute and the server.js file, which we're gonna activate when deploying our website. All right, so that's a quick review of what we did in the previous video of just the main stuff. So I'm going to now go and um, create an app service. An app service is what's going to actually host our website. Okay, it's a hosting service offered by Azure. So here I am on portal.azure.com. You can see over here. So what we're gonna do here is create an app service. So it's basically this icon over here, or you can do app services if you can see it over there. Okay, click on app services, then come over here, click create web app. And here, select a resource group. I'm just gonna pick tutorial because that's where I put all my tutorial stuff. And here, I'm just gonna select a name, tutorial website with backend. Okay, this is what the domain of your website is gonna be tutorial website with backend.azurewebsites.net. Okay, select a runtime stack over here, like node 20. I'm gonna select a different region because I think I've been making too many, uh, too many things in the same region. That might give me an error. So over here, you need to pick a pricing plan. So I'm gonna pick the free tier. It's only 60 minutes a day, CPU minutes a day. Um, but it's enough for tutorial purposes or very, very light usage. So just do review and create. There's no, nothing else we need to do. Leave everything at the default settings and continue. So it's going to review, validate. And now we click create. It's going to take a few minutes to deploy. That's why I'm doing this first. So while we set up our pipeline, this can finish deployment. So I'm going to go over to our release pipeline over here while that deploys. I'll click on new pipeline. And here we'll select app Azure app service deployment. Click apply. Then we'll give it a more meaningful name, the stage deploy. Then we're going to add an artifact. Basically, this is going to be the input of this pipeline. So the input of this pipeline is going to be the output of the CI pipeline which I showed you the release folder for. So I'll do that. Now I'm gonna go over to tasks. You can either click on this or you can click on tasks over here. And now I'm gonna select an Azure subscription. You need to create a service connection. Um, you can either click on, 
your subscription and then click authorized. If you click authorized, it's gonna create a service connection for you. I already have this service connection, so I'm just gonna click on that. Then I'm gonna click on web app on Linux because that's actually what we did over here. Oh, the deployment is complete, that's good. So if you go to the resource over here, as you can see here, the operating system is Linux. So let's go back here. Now click on this drop down and the app service that we created earlier should appear. Now, if it doesn't appear, then just hit refresh over here a couple of times. And then uh, if it still isn't appearing for like 15, 20 minutes, then refresh the entire DevOps dashboard. Okay, click on this refresh button for Chrome or whatever browser you're using. It might take some time. Okay, I've seen someone report it took an hour, so don't panic. Now, I'm gonna go over here. Let's just review things. Okay, so we need to actually make a change over here. This is currently gonna be deploying a, a zip folder. Um, we don't want to do that. So what we're gonna do is remove that and click on browse. And this is our artifact, the artifact that we have linked to this release pipeline. Click on this and here is our release folder. So I want to deploy this release folder. Okay, this is the folder that we're gonna deploy to Azure App Service. Click OK and that's it. I think we're good. So I'm gonna save this now. Okay, now I can create a release over here and manually deploy this, but I'm not gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is enable this trigger for continuous deployment. What this means is that every time our build pipeline runs, it says over here, create a release every time a new build is available. That means that whenever our CI pipeline runs and creates a new build, a new artifact, this is going to trigger, the release pipeline is going to trigger. And the CI pipeline is going to run whenever we make a change to our local code. If I make a change here, then I commit the change, then it's going to trigger our CI pipeline, which triggers the CD pipeline, which deploys our application. So let's see what happens. First, I'm going to change the port over here to 8080. You should change it to this port because this is what uh, is used by default on Azure App Service. And make another change, go to login, this login file of ours, or for your code, whatever application you're using, go to wherever you've used the local host endpoints and then replace them with the URL of your Azure App Service. Go over here to your web app, select this, copy it, then paste it over here and do HTTPS. Okay, that's, that's all we need to do. Now I'm going to commit this code, all right? Get add dot, get commit, um, changed port plus and localhost URLs, get push. All right, now what this is going to do, if I refresh this, you'll see that this has triggered my Azure Pipelines extension which is now, let me just save this, go to pipelines. Now you can see here that it's running, okay? It's in queue. So this is gonna take a while. So I'm just gonna pause the video until it's complete. All right, so now this is done and one artifact has been produced, great. Now we're going to go to releases and a new release should have been created. Let's refresh. There we go. There it is. So it's queued right now. And this is the log. Again, I'm just gonna wait for this to finish. It's gonna take a few minutes the first time. All right, so now we're done here. And even though it's done here, it still might take a few minutes to actually reflect on the back end. Okay, so just wait a few minutes and then we will click on this URL. I've already actually waited a few minutes, I paused the video, and here we go. Here is our website. So I'm just gonna enter uh, the email and password that I know it's gonna work. 
So there we go. Awesome. It works. This is our website. We've deployed it. I just want to reiterate this point because I believe it's very important. But if you make any change locally, if I, for example, change this home over here in the home folder, the home file .tsx, if I change this and then I commit that change and then push, it's actually going to regenerate this entire website. It's going to redeploy the website without us having to do anything other than push our code to our GitHub repo. That's all. And that is the magic of Azure DevOps and the end of this video.